Hey everybody, David Essel here. I'm doing another one of our quarantine live videos just to give some people ideas and thoughts on how we can move through this incredible experience together. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the need to stay productive during the pandemic. One of the reasons why I think this time doing this topic is so crucial is because we really have no clue how long it's gonna last. I mean, you hear all kinds of reports. It'll be over in two weeks. It'll be 10 to 12 weeks. It'll be six months. But we don't even know what's going to happen to our country and the world when the pandemic is over, when the virus has been eliminated or contained or controlled or whatever words you're going to use. We don't know what it's like then. We don't know how long it's going to take. If you remember when the economic crash happened in 2008 or so, and I think it was pretty much over around 2010, I can tell you that we didn't recover, our business didn't recover until around 2011. So let's say that the, the, the crash, the economic crash was 2008. It was when that ended, which was probably around 2009, 2010, it was another year or two before most of our businesses were up to speed. Right? Uh, Kristen, so glad you're with us, honey. And, and so what I wanna do is, is talk about the need right now to be productive, the need to be organized, the need to be scheduled. And even if you don't, if you're not working or you're working part-time or you're working minimal hours, whatever it might be. Um, Nadine, oh, I'm so glad you started journaling again. Good for you, honey. Um, Brad, welcome. So today is gonna to be about how do we stay productive during the pandemic? It's really easy for us to sort of, if you're not working, to keep your slippers on all day. And I'm not saying you have to dress up, although some people choose to, to get into that mindset, right? But here's the most important thing I wanna mention. It is during these times that we need to look around. It might be your house project. It might be maybe you're gonna write a book for this to first time. I posted earlier today, I'm so proud of everyone that is just starting to exercise right now. I think that's awesome. So you haven't done it for 50, 60, 70 years, but you're starting now because you, you're you either not working or you have more downtime. Good for you. See, that's being productive. So what I wanna mention is that if you have a goal and you say, yeah, I'm gonna get to that, I'm gonna get to this. Well, and if you're not doing it, now we're wasting valuable time. And the more time that we procrastinate on doing projects around the house or projects for work or whatever, getting back into shape, the more we procrastinate, the more that becomes a pattern. And also remember this, this is crucial. We call procrastination hell on earth. Procrastination destroys self-confidence, destroys self-esteem. So we're not just talking about, oh, well, let's see how these three weeks go. We're talking about that this could go on for quite a long time. Um, Sarah Louise, great to have you with us. Nan, Neil, Nadine, Nora, awesome to have all you guys with me here. So what, we're, what we wanna do is get you into the movement of creating schedules and daily rituals so that when you get up, you know exactly what you're going to do. Now, some people would say, oh, David, you're so type A, it's a pandemic, damn it, can't we just relax? <laughs> and I'll say, well, you can. You know, if that's what you wanna do, you can relax. I know, I am type A and I do love to achieve. And so right now, you know, in our world, I have my inc incredible company, my incredible team, and we're working every day. We're coming out with new ideas, new projects, new plans. I don't know if you've seen our quarantine positive quote of the day or not, but if you know, you can get it for free at talkdavid.com or davidessel.com, our motivational minute video of the day. Now we've compackaged them, combined them, they're both free. Just go to talkdavid.com or davidessel.com and sign up for the motivational minute. You will receive the pandemic positive quote of the day automatically for free. Both come together to your email box. And that's what I'm saying. Like there are things that we can start doing. Now, do you know a powerful client of mine contacted me a couple weeks ago when this whole pandemic started and said, you know, for a long time, I've said, I don't have the time to put this massive project together. I've got three weeks, I'm coming in in three weeks. He came in last week, he showed me the, the diagram and everything that he's done to make it work. And I looked at him and I said, this has gotta be released right now. He said, no, I'm gonna wait till September. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna you know, raise some money. And I go, oh my Lord, wait a minute. You have a product that is perfect for the masses of the world right now. And he does. He has a product that could help everyone boost their spirits, boost their confidence, 
I mean, it's amazing. I can't tell you any more than that because he owns it. And of course, you know, we have uh, privacy in our consultations. But that's what I'm talking about. Three weeks ago, he was wondering, what am I going to do with all this free time? Nothing to do. No clients, no nothing. Then he put his hat on. He created a plan. He worked it. He told me the other day that there were days he was putting in eight and 10 hours not eating because he was so excited to do the work. That's what I want for you. Crystal. Oh, I love it. I've been painting tile, grout. I love it. Hey, Michelle. Great to have you, Sherry. Great to have you with us. So that's what I'm saying. You know, we can start to feel more productive, right? We can start to feel better about ourselves, boosting confidence, boosting self-esteem by starting something and sticking with it. So what do we do tonight or any night? Create a list of what you're going to do tomorrow. Okay, so if you're going to write a book, if you're going to paint the house, if you're going to start to exercise, if you're going to start to eat clean, whatever it's going to be, right? If you, if you have a product that could benefit the world right now, work on it, okay? So that's going to be step number one. Debbie, welcome. And, and then we say step number two is now break it down to a timeline. Like, don't just say, that's great. Tomorrow I'm going to get up and start my book. Never work. Tomorrow I'm going to get up and start painting the house. Well, you might, but the odds are you won't. So this is what we do. We write down tomorrow at nine to noon, I prepare for painting the house. I eat lunch 12 to one and then one to five, I start painting. Tomorrow from nine to 12, I work on the outline for my book. And then from one to five, I start writing the first introductory chapter. Or we might say tomorrow, do you see what I'm saying? I'm not exercising on a regular basis. I'm listening to David Essel right now. He's telling me I need to get out to exercise. I know I've been saying I'm going to, I keep procrastinating. So we say we write it down. Tomorrow at 8 a.m., I get up. At 9 a.m., I go for a walk around the block for 30 minutes. I want you to take advantage of this time. It's a terrible time. It's a shitty time. It's a scary time. But it's also a time that we can put into our own self-care, our own self-growth. Maybe you go, you know what? I don't know how to exercise, so what do we do? We say, go to YouTube. I was helping a cousin of mine the other day. I found on YouTube this channel of at-home workouts. This is perfect. I sent him the link. Now he's using the at-home workouts. You don't have to have equipment, right? The instructors take you through. It's brilliant. Maybe you want to learn yoga. Go to YouTube. Google yoga, follow through. Maybe you want to learn meditation. Maybe you want to learn how to sing. Maybe you want to learn how to do makeup better. Maybe, I don't know, quit procrastinating. Let's take advantage of this time to make a difference in this world. Can you support others in some way? Do you have some kind of special gift or talent to support others? Listen, right, uh, share this video. You know, one of the things I always say to people when I do our, our lives is share it. Share it all over the place because we want people to know that there are individuals who are willing and looking for ways to help us to grow, okay? And also, you know, I talked about our free uh, motivational minute video combined with the quarantine positive quote of the day. Get that at talkdavid.com or, or davidessel.com. Hey, Lois, great to have you with us. Um, you know, and so, so get, get those videos because they will start to inspire your brain. We give you thoughts and tips every day on how to work through the pandemic, how to work through it financially, how to work through it with your family, how to work... We give you work to do to handle your emotions, to reduce anxiety, to reduce depression during this pandemic. And also, starting tomorrow, and this is uh, no, Tuesday, yeah, starting tomorrow Tuesday, all of our 30-minute Jumpstart counseling sessions via sc Skype or, or phone from anywhere in the world are going to be at pay at what you can afford. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be, hey, you want to do a quick 30 minutes with me? Here's three options. Pay whatever you can to afford to work with me. Because this is not the time to stop personal growth work. And I understand a lot of people are under incredible financial stress, which is why we brought our prices way down to whatever you can afford. Okay, That's at talkdavid.com. That's at davidessel.com. We are doing so many 30-minute sessions to help people, people deal with health issues, uh, depression, anxiety, mental health issues of all types. The isolation could get to a lot of us pretty quickly. We're helping people rebrand their business. We're helping people to learn how to budget better during this time because we don't know when this is going to end. So there's a lot of things that I can help you with in a quick 30-minute phone call, and you can pay what you can afford. Okay, so share these videos. Let people know there's all kinds of things we can do right now during a very challenging time 
there is a silver lining in this absolutely black cloud, okay? And I want to be a part of that darn silver lining. Uh, Lisa and Ralph just joined. Kimberly and hi, you guys. Share the video. If I can help you, go to the website, send me an email, put a note underneath this video here so I can read it, okay? I love you all. I want you all super healthy and safe and productive during this crazy time. I'm David Essel. Have a beautiful day, as beautiful as you can, okay? Talk to you later.